The following is a short presentation summarizing a common geophysical method in locating buried metallic tanks and drums. This summary is presented by Geophysical Survey Investigations located in Greensboro, North Carolina. At sites containing little to no steel reinforced concrete surfaces, using the combination of EM61 metal detection and ground penetrating radar surveys to locate buried metallic tanks and drums is a cost efficient and reliable geophysical approach. The EM61 instrument can detect a drum down to a depth of 8 to 10 feet. A comprehensive EM61 survey should be conducted across the entire area of interest. After establishing a grid using measuring tapes and pin flags, EM61 data is collected at approximately 0.7 foot intervals along survey lines spaced 5 feet apart. The survey lines are shown as red dots on this map. Each dot represents an EM61 data point. The EM61 instrument records several levels of sensitivity during the same survey. The early time gate response, shown on this slide, is the most sensitive component of the EM61 instrument and detects all metal objects regardless of size. The linear EM anomalies are probably in response to buried conduit and lines, and the small isolated anomalies are probably in response to cultural features or small metal debris. The EM61 differential response focuses on the larger metal objects and ignores the smaller metal debris. We use the differential response to determine the location of potential buried tanks or drums. At this site, the high amplitude EM61 anomalies, which are the contours shaded in red, along with the two adjacent anomalies represent potential tank locations. Running several GPR survey lines across the areas recording the significant differential anomalies determines the identity of the buried objects causing the anomalies. The solid blue lines shown on this map represent the GPR survey lines. At this site, the GPR data indicated that the large high amplitude differential anomaly was in response to four buried tanks. GPR survey suggested that the two adjacent smaller anomalies are in response to conduit junctions. The image of a GPR survey line across the EM61 anomaly shows two hyperbolic anomalies that are in response to the buried tanks. The GPR data indicated that the tanks are buried one and a half to two feet below surface. The red rectangles in the photograph represents the footprints of the four tanks that were delineated by the GPR surveys. For additional information regarding geophysical methods, go to our website at www.geo-survey.com.